Hello everyone. In this video, let us try to draw annotated parse tree when a syntax directed definition is already been given. So the question is something like this. So we are supposed to draw annotated parse tree for the following expressions. For these two expressions, we have to draw an annotated parse tree using this syntax directed definition. As we know, syntax directed definition is the one which has production and the corresponding semantic rules for a given grammar. Alright, so let us draw, draw annotated parse tree for this expression at first. So looking into uh, the syntax directed definition, we uh, it is clear that it is a S attributed STD because all the attribute values which has been given over here are all synthesized attributes okay all the attributes are synthesized because there are no inherited attributes that is been present over here synthesized attribute means we get the value of the attribute only from its child okay so this in this production this is the child and this is the parent so this value is been sent to f dot val in the same way for other productions which are there over here hence it is a s attributed std okay so let us draw annotated parse tree for this so beginning with this is the first production that is there so that we need to use so let us draw l is replaced by e n all right next look since this is a uh, uh, s uh, attributed uh, std that means it follows bottom up parsing method which in turn follows post order traversal method okay since it is bottom up parsing method it means that it uses a predictive parsing method okay to draw the parse tree so what does that mean is we have to look into the productions okay this e derives there are two productions for e that is e produces e plus t as well as e produces t so looking into the input string that has been given we need to decide which production we need to apply okay so now we have to get this input string all right so if i write e produces e plus t okay if i draw that then i will not be able to get the next productions which is there over here okay so what i have to do is i have to write e produces t okay means e is replaced by t and t in turn is replaced by t star f all right next uh looking into this input string we need to decide now we have got this plus we have to get the rest of the things that is there over here i'm sorry star so now t can be replaced by t star f or t can be replaced by f and f in turn will be replaced by e okay so we will be using this production t is replaced by f f in turn is replaced by e having the parenthesis correct e all right and e can be replaced by e plus t okay and this e in turn can be replaced by t t in turn can be replaced by f f can be replaced by digit all right and this t can be replaced by f f can be replaced by digit next coming to this part we have got digit plus digit that is 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 in the parenthesis we have got next we have got this star now we are what we have to get we have to get this 5 plus 6 all right so f as this production which can be written in this way e and e in turn derives e plus t t in turn derives sorry e in turn derives t t derives f f is replaced by 
digit and t is replaced by f f is replaced by digit so this is a parse tree now we have to draw annotated parse tree okay using this parse tree we have to make it annotated annotated means it has the attribute values as well as the semantic rules correct so it has attribute values for the uh, non terminals and semantic rules for the productions so let us uh, draw i mean write the annotated parse tree so what is the semantic rule that is been given for this digit for this production it has this semantic rule right so what is the attribute value for digit it is lex val this is the attribute value which is a synthesis attribute that is been sent by the lexical analyzer okay so this will be sent to f dot val okay now what is a digit value it is 3 this becomes 3 now this in turn is sent to the t okay because it has this production all right so that value becomes 3 this in turn is sent to these are all synthesized attribute and hence the value of the attribute is com computed by looking into the values of the attributes of its children in the nodes in the parse tree all right so th that is how we compute now what is this e dot val value it is equal to e plus t we have got this e value we have got this plus now we have to derive the value for t that can be obtained by from here from the leaf of its node so what is the value for this digit it is 4 correct well i'll write it 4 over here so f dot val which is sent over here becomes 4 t dot val in turn becomes 4 now e dot val is equal to 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 okay so what is f dot val now is equal to 7 all right now this let us now we have to send this back to t dot val which is equal to 7 all right now what is this this t dot val it is it is equal to t star f i have got the value for t there is star but i need to get the value for f so f is computed in turn in this way right since it is a bottom up parsing approach we do the post order traversal and now i have computed here now i need to go over here right from the left to uh, right from through the leaves of the nodes it goes traversal happens in that way so coming over here the attribute value for digit is lex val which is equal to 5 which is over here all right so f dot val in turn becomes 5 t dot val becomes 5 val is synthesized attribute this in turn becomes 5 now e dot val is equal to this this value attribute value plus this one's t's attribute value that we need to compute right so that can be computed using this value digit f dot val is equal to 6 t dot val is equal to 6 now e dot val is equal to 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 all right now f dot val becomes 11 this value now what is t dot t dot val 7 into 11 which is equal to 77 all right so this will be passed on to its parent which is equal to 77 so the value uh, computed is equal to 77 right so let us uh, check what is 3 plus 4 it is equal to 7 into 5 plus 6 is 11 which is equal to 77 so we have got the value so this is how annotated parts tree for this s attributed std can be drawn in the same way, let us draw annotated parse tree for this input string. So, using the same STD. Okay. So, over here, if you look, we have this uh, expression. Sorry, this input string. So, we have we need to compute this and this should be in the parenthesis. So, carefully looking into that, we need to substitute the productions. Okay. So, starting with the root uh, starting uh, symbol that is L, which derives E n okay e in turn derives uh, 
let me draw e in turn derives t t in turn can be replaced by t star f all right using this production okay and then this t can in turn be replaced by t star f again right so i'll draw it over here t star f all right so this f can be replaced by this e this production so using that we can get this input string right so let me draw in this way in the parenthesis e all right so this e in turn derives can be replaced by e plus t okay and this e can be replaced by t t can be replaced by f f can be replaced by digit this t can be replaced by f f can be replaced by digit now we have got <clears throat> 4 plus 5 in the parenthesis okay so now we will see how we can get this value of the input string so now i have got two stars that means this star i have got which is over here this star i have got which is over here i have to get another one star so let me draw another subtree okay for this pass tree now this t okay in turn can be replaced by f f in turn can be replaced by digit so that value will be one okay this can be replaced by digit which is two okay this can be replaced by digit which is three okay one into two into three into go down post order traversal over here the value is 4 over here the value is 5 into 4 plus 5 which is there in the parenthesis so this is the way of drawing a parse tree now we have to make it into annotated parse tree okay so now we have to substitute the attribute values so this is the attribute value right which is there over here in the semantic rule so the value for that is 1 now this will be sent to its parent so the value is 1 t dot val is equal to 1 now this t dot val is equal to t into f right so we need to get the value for f f dot val is this value which has been passed here it we get we send the this attribute value so that will be sent over here now t dot val will be 1 into 2 which is equal to 2 now this t dot val is equal to t star f 2 into this value so this can be obtained by this uh, by getting the attribute value from the terminal digit what is the digit value 3 okay so that will be sent to the non-terminal f which is equal to 3 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 okay now this t dot val can be obtained by multiplying t into f i've got 6 i need to get the value for f over here f dot val i have to get so for that i'll go check from here post order traversal so this value lex val which is sent by the lexical analyzer the value is 4 so that will be sent to its parent f dot val which in turn will be sent to its parent t dot val which is in turn will be sent to e dot val so this value is 4 now this e dot val is equal to 4 plus whatever is there for t so that will be sent by this digit terminal so that is equal to 5 uh, v dot val is equal to 5 t dot val is equal to 5 now 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 that is the value for e, e dot val that will be sent to f dot val which is equal to 9 okay now computing the value for t dot val can be done now 6 into 9 okay 6 9 is a 54 all right now e dot val is equal to 54 all right let us check over here what is the value for this 1 into 2 is 2 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 
what is the value over here? 9. 4 plus 5 is 9, which is equal to 54. Okay. This is the way of drawing annotated pass tree. For the given uh, syntax direct de definition, uh, it is already been given and looking into this std we can clearly make out that it is a s attributed std and hence it follows bottom up parsing method and hence it is easy for us to draw annotated parse tree since it doesn't have inherited attributes all right okay thanks for watching